Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Ghoul, and we are on our pilgrimage. It is exciting, it is scary. Last episode was kind of fascinating with the whole everything is broken, but that's okay because we've got stuff to pick up and we got a pilgrimage to do. And it still matters to me to pick up some of these things because they're useful and will help us. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we're going to be taking out a lot of these ghouls that are still kind of dancing around here. I, I, okay. I don't know why it's so difficult to see them right now. One thing, another thing, or not one thing, but we were chatting about this. The fan is on again, and it's 60 frames per second again. Once, you know, down in the comments, give me a heads up if things are looking a little stuttery. I try to avoid it as much as I can, but I still want to share that. Yeah, very dramatic death falling off the house. Another bugger. Come on. God, I can't, I can't really see them right now. I don't know if like the character's eyes need to adjust right, or if it's just like I have a big light that goes behind the TV that allows me to uh, look beautiful on camera. And uh, it's uh, it's hard for me to see some of these dudes. They're blending in very nicely. Hold on, you know what? Let's get out the gainer. I'll make it a little bit easier to see some of these people because they'll be on fire. <laughs> Except that I'm just gonna miss repeatedly. It's certainly easier to see them when they're burning to death, isn't it? I'm having a good iguana and a stick and a little bit of water. Well, we actually have a lot of purified water available to us. Which is going to be extremely useful because as we enter the, uh... Oh, the terrible, terrible sea. I, uh, it turns out that apparently the... Did I hit something else or did it just make a big fire explosion? But I, I learned that apparently in the sea there isn't really a spot for you to save. Oh, hey, oh god, oh god, you're close. Uh, okay, reload. For a moment, it looked like he was trying to figure out who he was supposed to shoot. It's gonna be the scary one right in front of you, Fizzy. That's the one to shoot. Wait, is this even before we've picked up the ability to see what damage is done to people through the vats? No, we definitely still have that here. Okay, well, you're about to die. So how about a punch? Nope. A shoot will do just fine since I've almost died from that. I love how we've just been knocking people off this roof. That's been super fun to do. All right, so we're in caution now. We're pretty safe. Our righteous ghoul taking out the ferals is proud of himself. Let's uh, let's drop a save. That sounds like a smart thing. Nope, enemy nearby. There you are. Let's get him a little silencer. Can't believe I missed that, but it's very dark. All right, hello. Ghoul Reaver, how about we give him a headshot? Oh! Ah, oh, that felt good. That felt real good. And now we're hidden again. Brackets aren't wibbly wobbly at all. And there's the save. Nice! So we took out most of our opponents here. Oh, wiggly brackets again. So let's just get moving about and see if we can encourage them to attack us. There's one. Just fill him with lead. Pew! Pew! Yeah, just try to run, dude. You won't really know where I am. Ooh, in this little stutter. Ah, feels good. You know, this is a great place. I feel just so powerful, which is nice because if we're gonna about to go into the glowing sea, there's going to be, especially because we have to kill ghouls that we see, there are massive piles of ghouls in the glowing sea. They're just hanging out because that's where the crater is, right? So, it's just extremely irradiated, which we won't have to worry about because of who we are, which is sick. But, we will have to deal with that whole worrisomeness of, like, the most terrifying creatures ever. Alright, so now as we take this opportunity to level up, I mean, man, we're just retreading old ground now. It's a little disappointing, in a way. But we're two levels away from 80% chance, so that's something. I think we should do something like a bloody mess. We're ready to... No, we're not. You know, it might make sense to actually eat ghoul corpses. Uh, that will help with feeding and healing. There could be an actual use to that. You know, I'm actually just going to hold on to this right now. Because maybe a scrounger would make sense for us to get ammunition. Because we are a little low. But I don't really know how much ammo we're going to find in the glowing sea. Because there's just not a lot of containers and things out there, you know? Holy shit. Where are we right now? Oh my god. I thought we were so much closer. We are very far away. Jesus. Oh, this is going to be a significantly longer pilgrimage. 
Just, uh... I guess I'll go look and grab some bottles because we're gonna need them. Well, I don't know what that was. Watching uh, the TV when you died, nice, very good. So, I imagined, like I said, that this would be like a single run through, but I mean, technically we still will be stopping for ghoul fighting and we're still gonna be stopping for a lot of a variety of other things. So, my, I made the comment that it would be at least one more episode, but it might be a little bit more than that. We might actually have a serious walk still gone on our hands. Jesus, actually, we are getting kind of close. Once we cross into this like water pile right here, that's kind of the beginning of the ghoul, the sea, the ghoul sea, the ghostly sea. Brahmin, I guess that's just uh, some group of people around here or so. Ah, this is, I believe, where the gunners all hang out. We're gonna, uh, you know what? I don't really want to get this on our thing because they're gonna just start shooting at us. We have no reason to be going after them right now either. I mean, even level ups, I'm not sure if it's gonna be necessarily the most useful thing for us. Oh, look, our guy is holding his arm. That's you know, it's fun going into third person and seeing these effects of uh, damage on our characters. I mean, where they're limping. When I don't know why I keep zooming into him. I'm trying to zoom out. There we go. Come on. Come on, show me the ghoul. There, there we go. And zoomed back in. Zoom out. And zoom back in. I don't really know why it's doing that. Hmm, that's really weird. I, yeah, I don't really know why it's doing that zoom out, zoom in thing. I've actually never seen that before. All right, that's weird. That's very, very weird. Glowing Meyer Lurk, let's turn off our light and just try to stay away from these guys. I don't know why one of those Meyer Lurks isn't considered hostile. He's the nice Meyer Lurk. He's the one who will be your best friend. All right, peeking in here, trying to see if we can, there we go. Find ourselves a bed while we're in here. Dead guy on a dresser. Don't know how that happened, poor dude. Well, there's definitely stuff over here. But I feel like that's going to be a bad idea to head that direction. <laughs> bow with a bed? No, bow with a radio. Holy, hello! Found some raider scum, though. Second shot, hit him. Ah, oh, didn't kill him, though. Where the hell? Oh my god, did you turn into a dog? No, you're alive. Okay. Okay, okay. That was really weird. I. Th oh my god, he just detonated. I'll take a Molotov. Man, I'm having a really hard time seeing everybody down there right now. It's got to be that my eyes aren't adjusted because of the light. That's... Maybe? I don't know. Or it's just dark. Maybe my TV's just dark today. Purified water. Oh, baby. That's what we wanted to see. And some Nuka Colas. And some bottles. If we uh, we might be filling up on dirty water soon, but that's that's water. Medex, Psycho. That's going to be really useful as we're entering into the... uh, And too much. I guess it doesn't really matter for me to carry a lot of stuff. I mean, it makes sense to carry some stuff for the sake of, like, just picking up some more ammunition. It might make sense for us to actually grab some of these just general pistols. Because then we'll just have something that goes off of a 38 if we're ever out of ammunition. I mean, looking at our ammo now, we have a lot of 44 rounds. We have enough 10 millimeter. Oh, we have a ton of fusion cells. Okay, we're actually a lot better than I thought. Oh, hello, ma'am. Now I realize that would be the case. And I can't get up this way. This is weird. Wait. Oh, she, okay, she is actually hanging. And for a moment it looked like she was, uh, like just warped through the wall or the floor. Floors, floors are walls, but sideways. It doesn't seem like there's actually any way up, technically. Ah, I, that's interesting. There's like a, a thing right here, which we can reach. Okay, something's glowing in the distance up. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a Myrler Hunter. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, I know exactly where I am. Holy crap. Yeah, I've, I, uh, there's a bunch of raiders that are here. Okay, I recognize, yeah, I recognize this. I'm glad that we escaped the uh, Myrler Hunter. I think that was the right choice, just run. <laughs> All right, so this is the last body of water we're gonna run into before we're really entering the glowing sea, which is pretty damn close. We're definitely right there. So if we're so close to it, how much water do we have? Because we're going to be taking drugs, I'm pretty confident. So we're at 18 purified water. That's a lot. We actually might be okay. I'm going to be smart about this, though, and fill up a couple dirty waters. Just enough to make sure that we have something. If we are getting... Oh, we're, we've done everything. 
Just enough to make sure that we have something in case. I mean, it's not as hyd hydrating, but it will help. Oof. I made the comment that maybe we'll have a couple more of these, but there's the Crater of Adam. You can see it at nighttime. Holy crap, that is so cool. Man, I can imagine what our ghoul is feeling right now. Let's pretend that this ghoul has actually experienced everything. You know, like this is a ghoul that has experienced the Far Harbor. They have experienced, you know, all our adventures after and before and to finally be taking his offering to the real location. Not to where, like the children of Adam on Far Harbor who just made him question his faith. I know, it's a rad scorpion. We're just staying over here. But to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that's happening now. But to the people of... You know, like, of who truly believe. To the true place of Adam's gift. Of who gave our ghoul Fitzgerald the gift. And we just keep hearing the rad scorpion popping up behind us. And we're stuck. I wonder if we can actually do anything to it. You know, we can. We're actually pretty powerful compared to it. We might want to take a stand, because if just running ahead like this puts us into, like, stingweed darters and stuff, that might be pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna take a stand. God. Can you imagine going through this without being a ghoul right now? I mean, the amount of, like, radex I'd have to be taking in this, like, suit? God, I'd have no protection. Look, I can stand directly in the water and I'm A-OK. -okay. It's, it's just nice. Alright, I guess we're still in danger from the scary dude. Alright, well, let's get let this guy get a little closer. Ooh, we're running out of AP real quick. Uh, how's our health doing? Not very well. Okay, healing up. Oh, fuck. This... Okay, so we're gonna do a buff something. Um, I don't need a stealth boy. Buff jet? Probably a buff jet. Here we go. Buff jet turn! Ah. Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew! Pew, 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 pew! Pew, 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 pew! Pew, pew! Yeah! Buff jet, baby! And that's why we have all the water. Alright, just, just as a safe bet, you know, let's, uh, let's not worry about scrounger, let's just do toughness. General thing, it's just gonna help us Overall, we have really low health at the moment because, or excuse me, low armor. So just a little bit more DR is gonna be nice. Uh-oh, hey, there it is. Oh, we got like full AP right now. Let's hit this guy with a critical and just keep dropping. Yeah, you stupid rad scorpion. Buff jet is worn off. Well, okay, so the buff, the buff out part is gone now. <laughs> whew, whew, that's a lot of, a lot of health that we're missing. Oh my gosh, maybe like Nuka Colas and cherries or something. How about a mutant hound shop? Okay, this quantum's gonna help us a lot. At the one moment when we're like completely out of everything, it's gonna do a lot, a lot of benefit. Let's take a rad scorpion steak as well. Really push our healing up. I mean, we are in the glowing sea, so. And we currently, oh man, if we could find a little spot to just kind of like chill for a second, because I've read that um, there is like nowhere to save in the glowing sea. Like legitimately, if you're in survival mode, there isn't a bed that isn't getting irradiated anywhere. So I, I've seen even people going inside things. Now I bet if you back off, just go this way. I bet there's gotta be one bed somewhere. I feel like that would make sense, but it's totally possible that in survival mode, it's nigh impossible to save. I love how, because we're in all cloth armor, our sneak's probably pretty good right now. Oh, come on! How did I get in danger? From whom? Rad scorpion hunters, huh? Okay, um... Can I climb on this? Can I climb on this? I can! Hi! Goodbye! Alright, um... Keep climbing. Up. Oh! Okay, we're fine. Keep moving. Okay. I feel like we could continue running to the crater, but I feel like that's... That's a, also dangerous. Oh, hi. I think I might be kind of stuck in here now. Nope. False alarm. Completely out. 
Here we go. Going for a run. I don't know what we're running towards, but it's a factory. Capsized factory. Hello, factory. Um. Hello? Okay, uh, mine. Mine the entrance. They might be able to dig, like, through here, though. Ooh, what is this? Well, we gotta kill these. Mine. Second mine. This is a feral. Oh wow, he can actually take two shots because of uh, they're more protected against the energy. Okay, all right, why are my mines that good? All right, they don't need to be that good. They could be a little less good, right? Yeah, that's a little ridiculous that it's actually hitting that high. Purified water, feel better but still parched. Switching to ooh, baby. Paragol stalker. Uh, headshot critical. Nice. Wow, his head completely dropped off. It was just no, 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 no. Just throw that down there. Feral ghoul roamer. Sure, two shots. Um, that one. Yeah, you get a couple shots too, and you get a. Ooh, we might actually be able to kill all of them. If only we had gun foo, you know. Got him. All right, sleeping ghoul. Sleeping ghoul. Woo! I'm feeling cool, just cutting these guys down. Like I said though, uh, saves. Saves would be cool and apparently don't necessarily exist out here. Now because of how our ghoul works, we're not actually receiving any radiation, so it's possible that the saves will work for us. That would be pretty swell. I can actually hear in the background what sounds like, uh, <laughs> a storm brewing. Oh, psycho buff? Does this thing psycho? Uh oh. Got you, got you. Back it up. Just making safety. Just come on. We're doing our heavenly duty here. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Yeah, I think that was a smart choice to back up a little bit. Show that leg who's boss. I might. Critical, that'll do. Ooh, it didn't do well enough, though. Just. Just, just back up. Just, oh, whoa! I am so glad that that mine did not go when I was closer. Holy crap. That could have been so bad for us. That could have been us just dying right there. It also turned out to be perfect. This is kind of a cool little spot. Hiding out in here, glowing ghoul. So I had something very exciting happen today. So. I got a very cool bit of fan art and it was me half ghoul and it was just so absolutely flattering and just oh, I was so tickled the fact that it was made and I'm gonna I'll throw it up here real quick uh, just so that you guys can see it because it's so damn cool and I'm very proud of it and it just makes me feel very good that somebody had the feeling to do that. It was thrown over to me for someone named Science Clo, I think if I'm saying her name correctly from the Twitter. It was just, that was so cool. And, oh, thank you. I, it, it looks great and it's just, it made me feel very special. So it was also something that on a point of view from a, like a strategy thing, uh, it's, you know, I did not realize that I would get associated with a ghoul. And I think that's so cool. I love the idea of being associated with a ghoul. And it's just something where it's like, Potentially the next you know character of whoever we play will also be just as interesting and you know You can't can't always mimic the same magic of something, but you can man There's so much rat away in here, but you can definitely kind of create like some new magic And I hope that whatever the next character is creates that same kind of magic that this ghoul has seemed to have shared with everyone Oh, it's empty. That was just an adventure. There are still rad scorpions out here. Fuck. Let's get out of here <laughs> All right, this is the way to go Oh! Oh! I thought I was free of him! <laughs> oh, there's just more. And there's just more. Hi! Oh, but you're just gonna die real quick, aren't you? Yeah, the gator is gonna just cut right through you. Oof. God, rad scorpions are terrifying. I'm so happy that, though, we're able to just handle them like this. Alright, gator is being reloaded, and we're continuing. Now, if I recall correctly, 
Uh, there is actually a set of ghouls that we're going to run into in the process. Oh my god. We might have passed the ghouls. Holy shit. Are we almost there? Are... Bring in the, the music. The music comes in now. Seven. We're meters away. Oh! Oh! These are the ghouls I was thinking about. Oh, we're so close. All right, dudes. These are the last ghouls that we will fight. These are the ones. These are the ones that are plaguing our child of atomness. These ones Adam wants us to destroy. And oh god, they're coming! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. All right. Kill the big ones first if I can. Holy crap, the gainer is awesome! Alright, we're out of AP now. Let's take a jet. Good time to reload, game! Good time to reload. I feel ill infection. I am the ghoul killer. Holy crap. Wow. That felt epic. As if this gun is the gun for the ghoul killer. Because fire is great for zombie creature things. Oh, and it's a revolver. As it was, I told you how much I care about those guns. We're so close. Oh my god! This is it! This is what our ghoul wanted. His joy is freedom. Just to be a part, to be a center, to make it. To have gone to Far Harbor, to have made it so far in the game to collect 25 fusion cores. Anyway, dudes, well, we've done it. Divide, perhaps, is in our character's future, but Fizzy has made it. Fizzy is now officially arrived at the Crater of Adam. And our next character. Ah, oh, the new one that is coming. Well, I bet you guys can probably guess because you can, I'm pretty sure you guys are also able to see the uh, the vote, right? If uh, on our next character build, that it was gonna be the Cricket Sugar Bombed one. So that's the one that's coming up next. And well, dudes, I'm excited to have her go. And like I mentioned, I don't know if we're gonna have enough time necessarily to give her a machinima intro yet. But we're still going to make one at some point. So anyway, dudes, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for watching. It was a joy to have Fizzy with you. And I can't wait to start the next one. Let's see how fun this next thing, especially as we're going into Nuka World. Oh, man, it's going to be fun. A very different character and a lot of sweet, sweet new experiences. Because, hey, she can be a little evil. So, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It's been a total joy to have you here. If you liked it, so please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And, of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may Adam divide you. See ya.